Sorry everybody, Zooks here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we completed the Sprout Tower and uh, got ready, I guess you could say, for the upcoming gym battle. However, before we do that, I want to um, head over, not over here, but uh, over to the left here. There is a route down here that I want to go to. And I want to catch our second Pokemon. Um, so, as I said before, most of our Pokemon have already been decided. Uh, a few tweaks could be made. But uh, there is a Pokemon that I want to catch over here on Route 32. And here it is, uh, Mareep. It is the Sheep Electric Pokemon. Um, not sure if I want to find a better one. We'll just hit it with a rage and see how much damage that does. We might one shot it if we do, then I'll look for possibly a better one. No, we barely did anything to it. And now we're paralyzed because static. Um, and our attack's lowered. This is just fantastic. And now our attack is double lowered. Great. Okay. Level 6 is kind of low level, um, but I think it should be fine. Well, it should, hopefully it should be fine. And our attack is just getting destroyed here. And now we're paralyzed, fantastic. Rage is building. Use Rage, please don't die. We're at minus 2. Okay, we got a crit. Thank you, game, for doing that. <laughs> ah, great. Do we have any paralyzed heal? Do. There we go. Alright, come on, let's get maybe a higher one than level 6. And Bell Sprout. We do not want Bell Sprout, so I'm just gonna run. I think actually, uh, if you catch a Bell Sprout, you can trade it with someone in one of the houses in Violet City for an Onyx. So if you want an Onyx, you can catch a Bell Sprout. Bellsprout, 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 and trade it, and yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna cut ahead until we find the next uh, Marip. Marip. Why do I keep saying it like Marip? I think it's just Marip. <laughs> Whatever. The next one we find, uh, I'm going to attempt to catch, and we have this stupid graphical error again. I'm going to fix my game. Also, kind of looks like missing now. That's weird. That is really weird. All right, I'll be back. And of course, the audio is glitching, uh, but here is me catching it, hopefully. Nope, didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know why this is happening, but I really need to check on this to make sure it's not a legitimate problem. Um, but yeah, this happened in the last episode, it was really weird. Uh, resetting the game did fix it though, so I'm going to do that after this, hopefully. Yep, there we go, so we got the Mareep. Um, now we need to come up for a clever nickname for it. If the game would register that we caught the Mareep. <laughs> come on, there we go, okay. Give a nickname, yes. Okay, what do I want to call this thing? <laughs> this is a reference to a show that I used to watch when I was a kid. We're going to name it Sean the Sheep. Because that's just how I roll, apparently. Sean, I think I spelled that right. Sean the sheep. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to reset our game. Yep. <laughs> Definitely gonna reset the game. This is weird. Okay. Yep. I already saved file. All right. So I'll be right back. And we are back with things that are fixed. Um. Whoops. That's the wrong button. Uh, so let us. Take our Sean the Sheep, Sean the Mareep. Let's let's talk to him. What does he have to say? Oh, he's sad. He's dizzy. Why are you dizzy? Let's talk to Toad Kyle Kyle the Crocodile. See what he's up to. What are you doing? Oh, whoops. What do you got to say? Oh, he seems to be happy. Opening and closing its mouth. Okay, that's. 
normal for a crocodile, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna go heal, and then I will meet you guys back at the gym. Alright, so here we are at the Violet City gym. This will be the first gym that we are taking on. Um, let's get right into this. So, I kind of want to start out with Mareep up front, uh, just to get some XP, um, on him. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let's see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Alright, so this, as you may have guessed, is a flying type gym. Um, all of the Pokemon are going to be birds and flying types, uh, so having an electric type is quite an advantage for this fight. However, obviously, um, our Sean the Sheep is not a very high level, so he won't be very useful for us in these fights. However, Kyle the Totodile Crocodile guy will be perfectly fine at taking out all these Spearows and Pidgeys and Hoot Hoots and what have you. Uh, so let's see how much a water gun does. Gets him down to half. That should be good enough uh, to take him out in the next turn. We should live this pack, no problem. Yep. And the Spiro is down. Oh, we got a crit. Don't think that mattered. Um, but hey, it helps. <laughs> Kyle is level 14 now. That's great. I'm gonna learn any new attacks. Nope. This can't be true. Oh, well, it is. Alright, so I'm gonna go heal, and then I'll meet you guys back here again. And we are back in the gym, ready to challenge the second trainer, awaiting Faulkner. Uh, now, all of these trainers can be skipped. You can go around the, I guess they're the glass edges on the side, and you can go straight to the gym leader. However, I do want the experience from fighting these guys, and it doesn't hurt to fight them. They're easy fights, so why not? Okay, so he's gonna start off with a Pidgey level 7. Oh, maybe our Mareep the Sheep can take this guy on. Let's growl. Oh yeah, we paralyzed him. We're pro. Alright, let's see how much we can do with a tackle. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna switch out. Um... Hopefully he'll get paralyzed whenever we switch, so I don't have to worry about taking that incoming damage. Nope. He's gonna land the sand attack, it's gonna be kind of annoying. Uh, sand attack spamming is something that's just ridiculously stupid in this game. Um, actually, I'm kind of curious how much a bite would have done there instead of just going for the water attack. Or water gun, rather. Let's finish him off with a scratch. We missed. Pidgey, please. <laughs> Pidgey, plus. And he's not getting paralyzed at all. There we go. Finished him off with a scratch. Uh, Sean's gonna level up to level 7, which is very nice. And we're gonna gain some XP for Kyle. Uh, so let's switch back to Sean. Hopefully we can get a paralyze off on the Pidgey if we stay in long enough uh, for it to attack us. Alright, so even levels, Pidgey's going to go for the sand attack, probably as expected. Um, these sand attacks are so annoying, not much you can do about them. You just kind of have to sit there and just deal with missing all the time. Uh, so we got two growls off, so now if Pidgey actually does decide to attack us, it shouldn't do much. However, Pidgey's just going to want to sit there and just keep spamming sand attack. Any day now, Pidgey. Just come on and paralyze yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so annoying. There we go. Hopefully the static will land. No, it didn't. Dang it. And <laughs> more sand attacks. Wow, this is crazy. I think we're at minus four or five accuracy at this point. Now we're definitely at 5. We might be at minus 6 accuracy. This is crazy. I don't think... If we're at 6, I mean, he can't lower our accuracy anymore. Um, but... I'm surprised Static has not gone off yet. Ah, we're gonna have to switch here. 
hopefully Pidgey does not go for a sand attack right off the start. That would be unfortunate. Let's see how much a bite does. Out of curiosity. Oh, bite does a lot of damage compared to water gun. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I'm going to he No, I'm not. We don't need to heal. Because I'm not going to be switching for this. I'm just going to be starting right off with Kyle and doing our thing. I am Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of Magnus and bird Pokemon. Alright, so this is the first Gym Leader. Alright, so he's going to start off with Pidgey. Um, we're going to... Bite, I guess. See how much it does. Uh, let's finish him off with a scratch. And that is it for his Pidgey. Pretty easy. Um, we took him down fairly quickly. Pidgey Odo is up next. We're obviously going to stay in. Not much we can do with Sean here. The wind is finally with us. Uh, so we're just going to bite again. Pidgeotto is going to be faster than us and get a gust off. Uh, that is going to do a fair amount of damage, but we should be fine. Um, it's going to look like at least three bites. Now, Pidgeotto does have Roost, which is pretty annoying. Um, so we're going to be here a while, maybe. Might be better to go for Rages, just so we can start building it. Yeah, if he's going to be healing, I want to I wanna get a max power Rage going here. Alright, uh, so let's just continue using Rage. Oh my goodness, <laughs> these roosts are so annoying. He's just gonna keep roosting. I'd really like to get, like, <laughs> some Rage building here. He's not hitting us is the problem, and that's what makes your rage build whenever you get hit. Come on. Stop spamming roost. It's so useless. There we go. Now our rage is building. We're still doing next to no damage. Hopefully we can get our rage up a bit higher and we can actually hit him with something stronger. We are definitely going to have to heal this turn, though. Alright, let's HP restore. He's probably going to roost. Uh, I would not be surprised. What's he going for? Yep, there's the roost. Uh, hopefully we can keep the damage that we had going from our rage. I don't know if healing would cut it off. I don't think it does, though. I think we should be fine. He's going to hit us with a gust, so our rage is going to get that extra boost, which is nice. Wow, critical hit. Okay, that did a lot of damage. Um, let's see how much we can do with the rage now. We're still doing, like, next to no damage. Maybe we should just use bites until something happens. But this is getting fairly annoying. I might... No, because gust is a special attack is the problem. See, if Pidgeotto was hitting us with physical attacks, I'd be able to switch to... Uh, Mareep and actually be able to, um, like, paralyze him <laughs> so we can do something at least instead of just constant roosts. Okay, our rage has had some while to build up. What are we doing? We're doing a lot of damage. That was a critical hit, though. He's definitely, he did not roost. Hopefully, we can kill him this turn as long as we survive the gust, which we did, and our rage built one last time. Let's see if we can finish it off. And yes, we can. Critical hit. Not sure if that mattered. Uh, maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. But the first one definitely did matter. That was very lucky on our part. But hey, hacks are hacks. He crit us. We crit him. It's fair. <laughs> uh, we do not want to learn scary face. That's kind of useless to me. 
Um, and Kyle leveled up to level 15, and we gained a hundred or one thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. For pity's sake, my dad's chairs bird Pokemon, but a defeat is a defeat. All right, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge, and we received the Zephyr badge from Faulkner. With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside a battle. And he's going to give us TM51, which I believe is... Gust? Roost. Oh no, he gives us Roost. That's very good because Roost is a pretty good move. Um, so if we gain a flying type Pokemon, uh, Roost is definitely something that we would want to put onto it. Alright, so that is that. We have finally completed the Violet City Gym, and we are now getting a call from Professor Elm. Let's see what this is about. Hello, Zilix, we've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Mart in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up the egg? And then he just hangs up on us without us even responding. Maybe we didn't want to, but he does not care. So let's go check out the Pokemon Mart and see what his, uh, his assistant has for us. Long time no see, Zilix. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. So, let's take the egg. And with that, we've received the egg from the assistant. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Zilix. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Zilix. Please take care of it. Uh, so basically, this egg will hatch after a certain number of steps, uh, but we do have to keep it in our party of Pokemon. Me oh my, that egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I'm counting on you. And this strange kimono lady just comes up to us and asking if we can take care of that egg. Um, it's kind of odd. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys ver very much for watching. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.